I mean, we're going to start talking about the new record. Yeah. Uh, and that process, which you went out to New York for, and I, mm -hmm. there's a video that we have, and we can just play it with the sound down, and we, so we can kind of people can see it. But you, could, you were going to talk about how that process really then, when you came to doing this one, um, you had even a clearer sense of how you wanted to go about it. I mean, maybe start yeah. with talking about why you went to New York and chose that new producer to work with. Well, I have to say, before I even, just, I mean, I, I've been, I'd been on this producer search for a couple of years, so I actually talked with quite a few people and interviewed quite a few people for sure. this job, and I, I really um, had never um, done recordings with other pr producers before. Like, I'd always, you know, just chosen a producer and then gone in and done it, you know, like the project. And so instead, what would it be like to, like, try out a song and pay them for their time you know, and, and really see what it's like to work with this person that I might hire for this baby that I'm making. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's an intimate thing, you know, why not have a trial? Why not have more than just a blind date, you know, totally. <clears throat> and so, and so um, you know, I, I tried out quite a few producers and, and, and really recording with a, a lot of different people and, and, and really learned a lot in that process. Like what? Well, um, like, I learned... I learned that my songs weren't ready. I learned that I had some more songs to write. And I also learned that sometimes, um, you know, there were some producers that I talked to where everything was great. And then I walked away thinking, everything's not great. I want to dig in. I want to really make these songs better. I want to really make a recording that's clear, that's clean, that doesn't have a lot of extraneous stuff that, that's very intentional all the way through, you know, that, that is all about, um, you know, really a record that is undefended, that is, that is it, it, you know, expressing the, you know, what, you know, it's like, why am I doing music? You know, I think this is the first record that I'm really, you know, it's, it's, it's not about music, it's about the, the, the mission of music, it's about why I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing, it's sort of the purpose, you know, it, it I, I, I think that it's so important um, to know why you're doing what you're doing in life. It can help so much. And for me, you know, when I get up on stage and play for people, I'm, you know, it, it's so rewarding for me to have people excited about my music, to clap at the end of the night, to like, you know, laugh at my dumb jokes, <laughs> you know, and my weird laugh and like, you know, and my like clumsy, weird self. I mean, it's such an amazing gift in my life to have that sort of feedback and relationship, um, but it's not enough. It's not the whole thing. The whole thing is, is like, you know, the fact that I'm offering something that is not only giving me so much back, but that that is is being received. You know, and I, you know, it's it's um it's my sort of mission statement or or the thing I say to myself. So you know, I'm here to open people's hearts. I'm here to open people's hearts when I answer emails, when I, um, you know, uh, choose songs for a record, when I um, get up on stage and, and when I write a set list, when I get up on stage and play, when I just change my set list in the mid, you know, mid route and decide to do something else. I'm, you know, it's like I, everything is based on that sort of ground, you know, where I'm, I'm really just wanting to, am I, am I offering something? Am I, am I, am I reaching, am I having a communication um, with all these wonderful hearts in the room, you know, and, um, and truly, you know, also seeing my own heart, you know, being willing to see that I, you know, like no matter what things, I, complications I have within my own, um, you know, neuroses, <laughs> you know, it's like seeing my own worth and beauty and, and being willing to not be, um, you know, not hide that, you know. I mean, I think that that is what went into this record, you know, is that clarity, that intention, you know, that sort of I'm going to bring all the love and care and, and sort of, um, you know, momentum, you know, of, of, of this mission with me into the studio. And, 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 and that means a lot of, for us, I mean, that meant a lot of preparation, a lot of, you know, looking at the songs, a lot of really making sure the songs were, you know, at their root, really strong, and really could stand on their own, and, and, and really, um, 
you know, before I even talked with, I ended up working with a really wonderful producer, Ben Wish, who's worked with, um, you know, a lot of wonderful uh, singer-songwriter types, and I loved the records I'd heard, you know, of his. And mostly what I loved about him was that there wasn't a whole lot of crap in the way, you know, that, 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 that you know, what I mean by that is, like, you know, the songs were themselves. Like, I could hear them. Even if, I, even if I'd never heard that person live, like, listening to the record, I, I heard that person. I, I, I heard that, what the song was saying. I, I didn't feel pulled into, wow, that was a cool sound in the background, or, wow, that was, you know, this or that. You know, I was, I was moved because I, I could understand. It was like a direct link, you know, and um, that's what I wanted. And, um, you know, recording a song with Ben, it really confirmed for me that, you know, and I think also at the time I met him, too, I, I, I was ready then, you know, after the two years. I mean, you know, when I started my search, I thought, I'm ready to make this record. <laughs> Hmm. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't ready. I needed to go on the journey. I needed to, you know, take the time and learn the things that I, you know, did about myself and my songwriting and being willing to, um, to really, to be so um, true to this mission. I mean, it's just really be willing to, willing to not record a song I really want to record if it didn't fit the mission, you know. And, and having a couple people close to me that could help me see more clearly, you know, including Ben, you know, he knew what the purpose was for this record. And, and, and at every point along the way, we're like, is that cool thing taken away from how emotive the song is? Are we feeling it less or more? You know, always going the direction of feeling it more, always going the direction of, you know, um, being more inspired, you know? In watching and being there with him after hearing records and feeling that real immediacy from the songs that you'd hear. Mm -hmm. Was were there things that you then saw in the process of working with him? Where it's like, oh, okay, that's how he's getting the, that, achieving that. Um, were, were there any approaches that he had that you noticed that you'd want to bring space to further projects? space? I mean, I think that like for me, I mean, I don't know, y'all. You know, how many of you are, are artists or musicians or you know, how how many of you have ever been in sort of a recording space, but. You know, and I think it, it's really applicable to everything in life, but, like, you know, the more space you allow in, in you know, in a, in a session, the more magic it seems like. I mean, unless you're not doing anything. <laughs> no, even sometimes then. Um, uh, but, um, you know, but I guess, I guess um, you know, for, for, you know, one thing I really realize is that less is more. You know, with Ben Wish as a producer, you know, less is more was our mantra. And we really met each other in that mantra, you know. And, 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 and so we brought in really excellent, you know, musicians who had a lot of heart, who really felt the songs, you know. And um, they laid down beautiful things. And we were always like, you know, really zeroed in on is this appropriate? Is this right? If, and even if it's beautiful, is it taking away or is it, is it adding? And so that, I mean, <clears throat> I think that's really it. You know, it's really a, um, a knack for knowing how to be simple. That's what attracted me to Ben. I think not a, a, a need to show off something more. You know, as an artist, I mean, you know, I think the most powerful piece of music or the most powerful, you know, artistic thing that you could have is, you know, in addition to the, you know, it, it can be amazing to have a group of people come together and have a, a vision together, but I think one voice, one clear something, you know, um, is really powerful. And I, I, I guess I'm, as I'm saying that, I'm realizing that it had a lot of influence. It was a bigger community of one voice. But I think we were all sharing the purpose. You know, we were all sharing that, you know, vision of wanting to make something that had space in it, that was beautiful, and um, that, that really opened people's hearts when they heard it right away. They didn't have to know me, Ellis, the musician who gets on stage and plays, you know, they could just pop in the CD and just like feel incredibly moved by it um, if, it's their, if it's their, you know, vibration or whatever. <laughs> uh. 